the Committee on World Food Security is the foremost platform for discussing, debating, and producing policy recommendations on food security and nutrition. And the inclusive model of CFS is one that every, every policymaker should look into and perhaps replicate in their own countries and regions. The idea is not just to engage these parliamentarians, to have them speak about what needs to be done to learn uh, the lessons from others and uh, incorporate good practices and study the relevant, the relevant materials. This is done in every single aspect of uh, creating legislation. The point here is to engage other stakeholders. And by this, uh, CFS uh, means um, the civil society, the private sector, philanthropic entities, international financial institutions, uh, also uh, academia, uh, universities, research centers, uh, other UN agencies such as the World Health Organization, uh, UNICEF, uh, the United Nations Development Program, so that we can get, and this is what is done at CFS level, all stakeholders dealing with these issues. And so the Dominican Republic brought this model into our country and uh, the Dominican Congress, the parliament, uh, they had uh, uh, public views on what was needed for a legislation on food uh, security. Uh, and also we brought all of these stakeholders all together. And the process is not easy. It took six years uh, for completion. And now we have a law, it's uh, the law 589 of 2016 on food sovereignty and security. Uh, this is a model that has worked in my country and that has worked in many other countries as well. Not just developing countries, but also developed countries. So a food council for Europe would be a great idea. Uh, it is known that uh, the European Parliament has worked on a number of um, issues having to do with food security, but not in a holistic, integrated manner. So what we propose as Committee on World Food Security the Dominican Republic is um, the, the former chair and now is a member of the board there. Uh, so we're very much into what needs to be done. So we propose for the European Parliament to look at what we have done at CFS in Rome, what countries such as the Dominican Republic have done on the ground, uh, in order to have this discussion to get all European parliamentarians uh, on the same track through inclusiveness, openness and transparency for food security and nutrition, bringing all the actors together, because that's the only way that we could have, that the Europeans could have, as the Dominicans have had, and as CFS is promoting all over the world, a system that is in place that takes care of every single person, producers, consumers, uh, all of the stakeholders, all together. That's the way to get to SDG 2 of Zero Hunger before 2030.